Good morning everybody. It's Brian here in the Peace of Eden Homestead Kitchen. Just thought I would bring you along because today I need to make some lip balm and I thought you guys might like to learn how easy it is. So what you're going to need to make your lip balm is going to be a digital scale, preferably one that reads in grams because it makes the math a lot easier. Then you'll need a Pyrex container and a pan, some water, some extra virgin olive oil, and some all-natural beeswax. You'll also want to get some tubes for your lip balm, and if you have it available, you'll want one of these handy-dandy little tube holders that let you fill it a little bit more easily. The tubes in the tube filler I got on Amazon. So let's get started with this. First we'll turn on the scale, put on our Pyrex container, zero the scale out, and we're going to need, oops, didn't quite zero, zero the scale out. We're going to need 200 and 50, I'm sorry, we're going to do a half batch, so we're going to need 125 grams of extra virgin olive oil, or as close to that as you can get. Then you're going to need 50 grams of the beeswax. So I'll zero this out again. And put in 50 grams. Now, I'm going to get a little bit of water in the pot. The reason you want the water in the pot is so that you don't overheat the oil and wax. Oil and wax are both very flammable. And if you put them on a direct burner, they can actually overheat and cause a fire. So what I'm gonna do is set up kind of a little double boiler here with oh, a few inches of water, enough to get into the bottom of the thing but not come over the top. And then I kind of hang this over the edge like this so it's not actually touching the bottom of the pan so it doesn't get too hot there. And then I'll put this on the stove and warm it up just until the beeswax melts. So we've got the wax and the oil here in the water. It's just starting to simmer and we'll leave it there until it gets warm enough to melt that wax. As the wax starts to soften you might want to give it a little bit of a stir. Keep in mind that when you're doing lip balm, the, the lip balm sticks to things. It's a little bit hard to clean off but it's not too bad. Okay. We got it pretty well melted now. I'm going to pull it from the heat. I'll stir it a little bit more before we fill the tubes. You can see there's a little still on my spoon there, a little bit of the wax that hasn't melted, but it'll melt as I stir. You can kind of see the reflection in this video of some of the wax pellets that haven't melted all the way. So we're gonna stir that until they're completely melted. They're clear now, but every time I stop, they float up to the top. I'm not sure how well you can see that. See if I bring this up a little closer. Well, not so much. So take my word for it. It kind of looks like little, little globs floating on the top or maybe even like a drop of oil on top of water because the wax is a little bit lighter than the oil. But once it's uh, 
all the way melted, it mixes in well. So I'll keep stirring and then we'll start filling the tubes. So now that the wax is completely melted, I'm going to pick this up, wipe off any of the water that's on the outside of this because I don't want to drip water in with the lip balm and into the tube. So that's dried off, everything's melted. So I'll slide this out of the way and bring in this awesome little contraption that makes it much easier to fill the tubes. Now back before I had this blue holder that holds the tubes in place, I would have to take each tube and very carefully fill it up, trying not to drip it all over the place, and then set it aside to dry. That works, but it's much faster if you have this to help you out. I'm not sure if we're going to get all of these full with this batch. I didn't actually pay much attention to how much I would need to fill 50 tubes. But we'll fill the ones we can. And whichever ones don't fill up, we will save for next time. So we have a lot on top here, and I'm going to move some of that into some of these tubes that didn't quite get full. And even everything out. i got a couple that are only going to be half full, but I'll keep those for myself instead of giving them away. So now that those are done, we're going to gently lift this up, and then we'll let that sit. Oops, I spilled one. Let that sit until they cool. And once they're cool, we can wipe off the outside. And then we will put the caps on. Something you can probably see is that the tubes are a little over full. That shouldn't really hurt anything because even though they're over full now, as paraffin and oil cool, they shrink down. So... They should be either level or actually a little concave, kind of like these ones back here are already concave. These ones just weren't quite as full as these ones, but these will shrink down more and these will shrink down more. So these will be more like those. So now that your lip balm has cooled down, it shrinks down a little bit, and you have inevitably a little bit of spill here and there. So what I usually like to do is pop on a cap, and then take a towel or a paper towel, and wipe off any that's on the outside. And there you have it, a brand new tube of homemade all natural lip balm. Looks like we ended up with about 30 tubes that are all the way full. Maybe 27 tubes that are all the way full and several that are about three quarters of the way full. All that's left is to cap the rest of them. I'm going to pour some of the caps out here so they're easy to get to. And then I'll just pop each cap on. Drop that one for you. Pop each cap onto the tube. And once we have them all capped, we'll wipe them all down. The stuff that you happen to drip out onto your pan, as long as your pan was impeccably clean when you started, you can just scrape up with a spatula and put back in your container and then you can melt that back down and refill some more tubes. 
I decided that rather than leave these tubes partially filled, the ones that didn't quite get filled all the way, I'm going to melt down the extra I have and then I'll refill these ones and I'll use the rest of this little bit to fill some other empty tubes. That way I can get a full count of how many we get out of this recipe. So, with all said and done, we ended up with 36 tubes of chapstick, completely full. Not too shabby if I do say so myself. So, if you have all your tubes done, you can bind them together with a rubber band and hold them. They'll just naturally form a hexagonal shape. Um, and, as it turns out, 36 tubes fits almost perfectly with a hole in the center. If we had 37, then that center would be full. Anyway, so I hope this encourages you to give making your own lip balm a try. And if you like the video, please like it, share it, and subscribe. It'll help our channel out a lot. Thanks again for joining me in the kitchen at Peace of Eden Homestead.